Hey there, Backloggery. Uh, been a while since I've done a proper video, so I wanted to touch base with you guys. Uh, as you almost certainly know, if you're watching this, we have successfully moved the current site over to a new host. Uh, they're called Cloudways, if anyone is interested. Uh, very happy with them so far. Uh, the server is performing beautifully, blazing fast. Love it. Uh, and a huge thanks again to Dan of War for making that possible. Uh, he spent over a month of his time uh, helping me get the site moved over. Couldn't have done it without him. Super nice guy. Very generous of him to do that. Uh, I gave him some Patreon money as a thank you. And I wish I could have given him more because he more than earned it. Uh, if you're in Germany and you see someone you think might be named Dan of War online, buy, buy that man a beer. Um, but uh, now that the current site is taken care of for now, uh, Dan and I, uh, he's going over the back end of the new site with me currently. Uh, did a little audit, make sure things are where they need to be. Several little things I need to fix, but uh, as some of you, kn I think, know, I am not a professional programmer by any means. I am largely self-taught. I have taken some classes. I'm not completely self-taught. Uh, but I've never worked in a, in a, you know, a corporate environment, so I never had any mentoring. Uh, so it, it's been really great to be able to, uh, you know, have Dan look over things and you know, give me tips for like organizing and making things more maintainable that I just, you know, didn't have that opportunity to be exposed to before. Uh, so that's what we're currently doing. Uh, I got a big old to-do list of a lot of little tweaks we need to make to clean things up a bit. Uh, very exciting for you all, I'm sure, but it is what it is. And we're also brainstorming some of the trickier features and how to best implement them. Like, is there a better way to handle DLC and compilations? Um, I've been toying around with ideas for how to handle dupli duplicate games for a long time. Uh, so I, I'm bouncing those things. I have a cat crawling all over me if I sound distracted. Not now, Maddie. Um, so yeah, Dan and I are brainstorming ways to tackle some of the trickier features currently. And I'm not, I know uh, the people on Discord where I do most of my bouncing off of ideas with the community have seen the site in its current form for the most part. I don't recall how much I've actually shown on video. So I thought I'd just do a quick refresher tour tour to uh, show you guys where we are. Um, so you know, the, we've moved the banner over here to more of a kind of I call it a card again, the user customizable image. Uh, the banner and the avatar will be uploadable to the server, unlike now. Uh, the networks are where you keep your, like your PSN or your Xbox Live uh, usernames and stuff. Right now I have it where you can just put in anything you like. I, I'm reconsidering that now to make it more curated. Um, and don't let that scare you. I know like the Switch ID is long overdue for being added to the old, the old site. I just haven't... The, the old site is just garbage to work with, which is why I haven't done that. Uh, but curated, a curated list would be a lot easier to keep up to date in the remake, and it would, it would, for one, it would keep people from linking to potentially dangerous sites, and two, it would make it a little more user-friendly, so like you guys don't have to put in your own links to your Steam profile page or whatever, I can have that all taken care of on the back end. Uh, so that's something I'm, I think I'm leaning toward doing at this point. Uh, page note, you know what a page note is. 
uh, now playing. Uh, I haven't shown editing a game recently. Uh, this is how you edit a game. You can upgrade something to a new status. Let's you know what you've done. Very smooth. I really like it. Uh, let's pop over to adding a game. Uh, let's add a weird NES game that I've never played. So you add games, and it keeps a list over here, so if you're adding a bunch of games at once, uh, you know what you've added. So that's nice and easy to do. Um, this loading should be faster on the actual server. I don't know why my dev server is a little slow with the Ajax stuff, but I'm expecting that to be much faster on Cloudways proper. And, uh, you know, as always, you can like click on your unplayed if you want to go straight to your unplayed games list, like that. And of course, you can edit games from here, like always, just like in the now playing. Uh, the fortune cookie, a little new now. It, it uh, lets you pick so many games at random, and you can filter them using the same filter as your game list. So if you want to like have you know a handful of games to choose from for what you're going to play next or whatever you're using the cookie for, uh, you can do that. Uh, the history tab is formerly known as the memory card, trying to name things a little more clearly. Um, I do love the old goofy names, but, you know, <laughs> you should probably make your website usable first before you make it goofy. Uh, memory card, so this is your current year on the left. I'll probably add some headers up here. Uh, current year on the left, uh, breakdown of your years on the right, and if you want to look back at a year, you just click on that, and you get the breakdown. Nicely organized and everything. Oh, and I should probably say the, uh, all of the memory card stuff is a part of your game's data, so if you forget to mark a game as beat right away, you can come back in here and like, oh no, I actually beat this on Friday of that year. Uh, so you can keep your memory card updated that way. Uh, comments are actually not fully functioning right now. I'm in the middle of uh, retooling them a bit. Uh, uh, the default avatar is something I'm still playing around with. I've actually been bouncing that off of Discord, the Discord channel lately. Um, I don't know. The, the, op the obvious thing is a game controller, but you see that everywhere, so kind of don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, that is more or less where things stand right now. I hope this music hasn't gotten too loud. Let me turn that down a bit. Um, so, March will be, you know, kind of spring cleaning on the, as far as the back end goes with uh, Dan's help there, and hopefully, well, at the end of March, I have my honeymoon, which is kind of up in the air right now because of COVID-19. My whole honeymoon might get canceled, and we're not going to be able to... Fun fact, travel insurance doesn't cover epidemics. So if we, if travel to Japan gets canceled, uh, we're just gonna lose our whole honeymoon. Uh, so that's, that would be bad. Uh, I don't know when we would be able to afford to do that again. So that would be real bad. So, you know, fingers crossed for that not happening. And uh, yeah. So hopefully uh, we get back in April and 
get things cleaned up and get things moving and exciting again. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for all your support. Thanks again for Dan, or to Dan, for all the help. And I will talk to you guys next time.